So, I'm going to give y'all pretty much a rundown of who I am, all the way up from when I was a little kid, who I was as a little kid, all the way up to now. So, long story short, I'm born in Fresno, California, and my birthday is March 23rd, 1988. I'm the beautiful areas some people say Pisces but I'm on the borderline of both I'm a security guard I'm a comedian I'm boyfriend to some, some females I'm a husband to one and a million um, I'm somewhat good guy slash bad guy there's a lot of things that people may say that makes me good there's a lot of things that people may say that makes me bad. Let me give you some of those things. Number one, I believe in God. And I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in, in Christianity. Um, but mainly just being in and out of all church all my life. Um, I live life to the fullest. Live life to the fullest. Um, known to be a great comedian. Been married for 13 years. Now that's going down the drain. Um, I'm just trying to make it and survive in Vegas. Um, all my childhood friends pretty much spread it around the world. At the high school and college, used to say, everybody moved from Fresno, California, had kids, did their thing. Me, not so much of a baby maker. Um, great lover, great provider. No matter what woman I come in contact with, I take her home for the most part. Um, I work and I give my little government benefits. Depends on whatever it is in your town, that's how much I get. But you could say I pretty much would never be broke unless that becomes taken away from me. Other than that, I would just be mainly part of the working class. Um, I get my disability because my mom was on drugs and my father was on drugs as well. And Out of all my siblings, sorry guys, I'm at a cross light. So I'm trying to talk to y'all, make this video, and pay attention to my surroundings. Mainly, I'm just trying to get by. But anywho, like I said, I got a win. Quick little run. Boy, they fucking up these Vegas streets. Let me tell you what. Construction. You pay good just to put a hole in the fucking road. And mainly full of motherfucking homeless. But I ain't gonna lie, I kinda learned to love Vegas. You know, it was wild, hot as fuck. And yeah, it was wild. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Damn, y'all both look good. Yeah, I see them down there every morning. And they look unbelievable good. Right now, I'm just looking forward to just speeding up time 
all my partners who I knew when I was little. Like everybody you know, everybody you know you're little. Some people, one person stay around, some people stay in contact, some people don't. In my life, I wasn't blessed to just stay in contact with all my friends. But as long as you got social media, I somewhat got some type of connection to them. So I talk to them every now and then. But once in a blue moon, um, my Vegas life is my first time fighting for a relationship, getting my ass kicked. Um, did I say fighting for a relationship? <laughs> getting my ass kicked? Yeah. The most I ever got my ass kicked was in Vegas. Um, secondary, um, life has just been a roller coaster for me. I haven't did comedy in a minute, so I don't know how I'm gonna be on stage. Can't wait to hit stage and. I just wish I would have went a whole nother different route than what I went to going over there, spending the time with my supposedly wife that supposedly loved me, that never gave a damn, left me for dead, betrayed me, and for some weird reason, I still try to be loyal to her because I'm still married to her, and for some weird reason, I feel like she may be somewhere deep down when she find her real self maybe she probably do care or maybe I'm just wasting my motherfucking time more of the story it's a possibility some bride either yet or now got to care about me or some other dude I won't say the chick name but I will say she got the possibility. Besides all the bullshit I've been going through, I just want home. But I would like As I want, but for one, I gotta start doing for more for JP. So I got a couple things in mind. Number one, getting back to comedy. Number two, hopefully I still have a job by today if I'm not too late. Um, number three, um, I'm just. Just trying to live life um, to the fullest. And just pray to God that um, my life don't get worse than what it already became. And I just pray to God that if there's any hope for me and my wife, we do work things out in due time. I don't want to go through another year another century of a year of looking for love. Hopefully I'll find somebody else to love me. Um, yeah. And um, hopefully I can continue having somewhere to lay my head at. You know, so far, as long as I have money, I'll have a place to stay somewhere. Money on the people, right? Um, I just hope to make it through this week. Um, I just want to make it through this week. Hopefully I have a great weekend. And, yeah, I just want to make it through this week. And, you know, hopefully God really got my best interest in this time around. And, um, hopefully... By next week or next month, I can find me a place. Um, maybe do things that I was supposed to do with my friend Jay Sean. And maybe 
if he's still alive or okay. He can still be friends. And, um, I do miss my pal. Uh, we ain't been too much best of buds for this Vegas life. This Vegas life has separated us um, through living alcohol and drugs. I'm not saying he's on drugs or I'm on drugs, but that's just the Vegas life. All I'm saying is through my situations with these women, his situation with the drinking and trying to get life together, I'm just playing on trying to get my life together. Sex, ladies, work. Shit. I pretty much got all of that in one. Sex, ladies, more sex, more ladies. <laughs> And I haven't really been doing comedy day. Sean, he's been doing everything for us. Uh, he's been working out. He's been, you know, in and out of going to jobs. In and out of this place, that place. Moving here, moving there. Um, great dude. He just, you know, it's all about getting your mind right. Staying focused. And, you know... Helping the people that's helping them out. Being real and loyal to the people that's real to him. And just, you know, doing what's good out of his heart. You know, but you're going to ask so much out of certain people. And my love, I just ask God. You know, remove anybody that don't belong in my life. And bless my love life and my job and comedy career. And sorry this video was so crappy. A little bit of everywhere. But um Yeah, I'm just trying to make it. And so through my ups and downs smiles and frowns <clears throat> I know for a fact if I have my wife back um, it'll be less frowns I don't know how happy I will be or she'll be but I do know some things will be a little bit better I love y'all God